Hi, welcome to Casey Cross. I'm Casey, and this is my channel. On this channel, you'll be able to follow along on our off-road adventures, shop time, campfire time, and sometimes just horsing around. If you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe so you'll know when I post a new adventure. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Hello, interwebs. Welcome to another episode of Casey Crawls. And uh, on this episode, hopefully, I'm going to get this, this front drive shaft all buttoned up. Uh, on uh, previous episodes, you saw um, I took the, uh, the short shaft. Uh, that's the, the shaft that goes from the uh, transfer case uh, to the carrier bearing, which is held in this carrier. Um, to uh, Gilbert's drive shaft and he retubed it and you saw me check the run out on it look really good so I'm, I'm really excited think this is gonna do the trick hopefully this is the last time I burn a bearing out at least I mean come on give me give me a little while before I burn another one um, but uh, I think this is gonna do the trick and here's here's the here's the uh, the short shaft um, so it looks really good uh, like I said, run out look good. Uh, the way this works is this will bolt into the buggy. This will go through the carrier, bolt a yoke on the other end, and then the front drive shaft goes from there down to the front axle. Got to press some bearings in. Hopefully you didn't see those welds because they're pretty booger welds, but I think they're going to hold up. Uh, I'll press some bearings in, uh, get this thing bolted in, and uh, start getting her back together. Get Raggedy Red on the, on the trail, and uh, we'll be ready for Hot Springs here shortly. Uh, after I get it all buttoned up in this episode, uh, probably have to do a little bit of cleaning up to it. She's, she's pretty dirty from the last one, and uh, I think that'll do it. So I appreciate you watching. Um, keep, uh, keep watching Casey Crawls on YouTube, and uh, I'll have some uh, additional video once we get up to uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um, I do try and publish uh, a video every Friday at 4.30 p.m. Uh, hopefully I can continue to do that. Um, so uh, keep watching and like, subscribe if you, if you enjoy the uh, content. If you don't and you got some suggestions, um, give me some comments and let me know uh, what I could do differently. Uh, but uh, I'm going to get busy on this thing, so uh, you stay tuned and I'll see you on the trail. Thank you. I've got this little razor knife. I don't know where I got this thing. But you get it in there, and this thing... Yes, I'm applying grease to sealed bearings. Why? Because I was told I probably should. Ah, there we go. There's one. And look. Look how little grease is in there. That's crazy. There's one. Let's see what the other side looks like. I have a feeling they focus on one side. They get a lot of grease in there on one side, but they don't on the other. Okay. Wow. There's like, there's like hardly any grease in there. Can you see that? There's like no grease in that dude. Can you see that? So, what I'm gonna do, get a little grease in there. You know, I really hope this solves my problem. I really did not want a two-piece drive shaft, but uh, there's just no way around it. And with that Atlas four speed, it, it's so long that uh, there's just no way around it. 
after I put the two piece in, you know, I start looking at it and I'm like, man, it really is, it, it gets around a lot of stuff. The transmission, the exhaust, it works out pretty well. All right, now for the other side. Hey, so for all the veterans out there, I hope you guys had a great Veterans Day. I certainly did. We have a veterans group where I work, and uh, eh, it's nothing, nothing major, but it's kind of, kind of cool. It's just all the veterans at work got together and it's kind of, I guess it's kind of a, an affinity group. But, uh, you know, my company, they, uh, they do, do a great job of supporting our veterans. And uh, they gave us the opportunity to, uh, to put a little group together. And man, I tell you, people have really um, taken hold of it and uh gotten involved it's it's really pretty cool um there's just no other group that uh, can compare to a bunch of uh former servicemen and women we just have uh, a little bit different philosophy or outlook on life i think well with my sealed bearings all unsealed and greased up. I just need to press the bearings into the carrier and then get the, uh, the clips in and uh, we'll add some paint here later on. I'll do that off camera. There's nothing good about watching paint dry. And uh, once we get these, uh, these clips in, um, we'll uh, put it in and hopefully this thing will work out for us. Perfect. Popped right in. All right, time to slide this thing up in the buggy and see if it's gonna fit. Who thinks it's gonna fit the first time? No, it never fits the first time. Okay, so ran into a little problem. It's kind of a minor problem, I think hopefully but what's happening is I've probably got I don't know maybe an eighth of an inch before the U joint seats in the yoke of the transfer case so what's happening I'll turn you around and you can see what's happening you can see right there there's a gap and remember earlier I told you I had some booger welds and so that tab is not sitting flat against the tab that I welded onto the carrier is not sitting flat against the tab on the cross member so I have a plan I'm gonna break out the grinder so I think if I just open it up a little bit, we'll probably be okay. Hopefully. We'll see. Yep. That's what I need to do. Okay. Got to go get the grinder.
Well, it looked like my grinder trick worked and uh, everything fit the second time. So just took a little bit of metal off that, uh, that tab on the cross member and uh, things set flush and uh, just got to put it back together and uh, get the front drive shaft in and we will call this chapter good and move on to uh, prep for the next, uh, next adventure which is the fire and ice up in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Appreciate everybody watching. Now let's get that drive shaft in. Hey guys, so we finally got everything buttoned up and uh, look, you could even see I got the, got the front tires put back on. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look at the at our work here. I think this is going to work out pretty well. We'll uh, wow! I see fluid on the ground. I wonder what that is. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, but you can see, got the drive shaft back in. I think, I think that short shaft is going to work fairly well. You'll notice I'm missing a dust cover. I've got that on order, and I did flip the front drive shaft around. So the slip yoke or the slip joint is up by the uh, transfer case. So hopefully that'll keep it out of the rocks and uh, everything's all buttoned up. So we should be good to go. Um, that pretty much concludes the, uh, uh, the whole three part series, I guess. I didn't plan on it taking that long, but it did. Uh, that pretty much concludes uh, this series of uh, um, getting this thing back together. Uh, next, we'll uh, clean it up and get it ready for uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas. And uh, I'll take you along. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some good video of people participating. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have a pretty good time. So that uh, that is going to be. We take off on December 30th. Uh, the park opens the 31st. Uh, we'll stay until January 4th, and we'll be heading home uh, the 4th. So it should be a good trip. So stay tuned. Appreciate you watching.